Lynham. This deadly global virus will be, for many people, always associated with the provincial city of Wuhan in the center of China. Wuhan was the first place to be affected, the first city to have deaths caused by COVID-19, as well as the first area to be locked down entirely. Up until Thursday, the official number of deaths caused by the virus stood at 2,500. Now the authorities have raised the estimate by 50% to just under 4,000 people. Let's talk live now to our China media analyst, Kerry Allen. Kerry, what was the delay in revising these numbers and then by, to revise them up by so much? Well, the authorities have said that they've needed to do an investigation into where there may have been cases that we've not known about. And they've said there are a number of reasons for this. There were some patients that had died at home. Um, they said that there were examples of some belated or missed reporting. And they also said that a few medical institutions weren't linked to the epidemic network um, where there was information being given day by day on how many cases there were. And so they weren't reporting their cases in time. But it's also significant the timing of this. I mean, it was only in the last week that Wuhan reopened to the world and there's been a lot of media really emphasizing the success story. So the timing of this I think is important that people kind of see the positives that the government has done rather than have panic that there may be thousands of cases that people haven't known about. But nonetheless there is an issue of transparency here isn't there Kerry? A lot of people have questioned Beijing's treatment of statistics and veracity when it comes to uh, this coronavirus and this will kind of raise those issues again. It will, yes. And, and thinking back to the early stages of this, there was a lot of a lot of conflict between local governments and the central government in terms of how much transparency was being given. I mean, I think back to January, there were um, we were hearing of cases in Wuhan, and then we started hearing of cases in Thailand and Japan, but there were no cases being reported elsewhere in China. So I remember criticisms of of local governments possibly covering this up because they were afraid of of not getting or needing to speak to the central government beforehand. And, and in, in the case of Wuhan, there were cases where there were journalists on the ground who were trying to go into hospitals and, and report on what they saw as the real story being um, in, in Wuhan. But uh, their voices weren't being heard. They were arrested and we haven't heard of them since. Now, what have been say people have been saying uh, on Chinese social media about these revised statistics? Well, it's interesting. It's a it's a huge talking point, obviously, but I'm seeing clear example of what's known as China's 50 cent party. So these are people who are paid 50 cents, a small amount of money by the government to post messages in line with the government's message. So thousands of comments are coming in and they're all very pro-government saying it's good that the government is giving this transparency now. It is very difficult to find any criticism of the government whatsoever. And it's very possible that these thousands of comments are drowning out genuine ones. But also China uses censors to remove comments that are sensitive towards the government. That's our China media analyst, Kerry Allen, alive.